I'm Action News Jack's meteorologist Corey Simma and after a little bit of rain late Wednesday, it's nice to see that sun on Thursday. Boy, it is chilly though. We were in the 40s and 30s early Thursday morning. Jacksonville officially made it to 43. Waycross made it to 38. We will be even colder late Thursday and into Friday morning. Looks nice though. Doesn't it on our first alert sky cam network as we are looking live. There's downtown Jacksonville, the blue in the sky matching the Main Street Bridge and the St. Johns River. As temperatures this afternoon will struggle a little bit. We'll only be in the upper 50s and low 60s for highs today. We'll be in the low to mid 60s for those of you south of Interstate 10. So it's not going to be a bad day. But you'll probably still need that jacket. We'll only be in the upper 50s well inland in southeast Georgia and then the low 60s inland in northeast Florida. Lake City getting up to around 60 with that sunshine. Then tonight, yeah, it's going to be even cooler. We'll be in the upper 30s in Jacksonville. We have onshore winds that are going to develop, though, and that's going to keep the coast of northeast Florida much more mild. St. Augustine, you're going to be around 50. Near I-95, we're going to be around 40. And then as we move inland, we'll be in the mid-30s up in southeast Georgia. There's Waycross and Blackshear down to 35. There may be some frost in some of these areas as well, primarily well inland in southeast Georgia. There's McClendon and Lake City down to around 38 as well. Friday's dry though. We, we can hang our hat on that. Late Friday and early Saturday. Here comes our next storm system. This is going to bring us scattered showers, potentially some rumbles of thunder as well. Saturday morning and into midday and it looks a little ominous here. You kind of see that bullseye of moderate to heavy rain right over Jacksonville. I would plan on rain for the first half of Saturday, but Saturday afternoon and evening are looking OK. It may still be wet in terms of the ground in some spots, but the rain is going to wind down. Sunday is dry. That's good for the second half of the weekend. And then our next storm system approaches late in the day. Monday rain is going to start to lift up over the area. It looks like Monday. Most of the day is going to be dry, but then we have that next storm system late Monday into Tuesday. There is a risk for severe weather as well, but this looks fairly isolated or low end. The strongest storms on Saturday will be capable of some strong winds, and we are watching Tuesday for the risk for severe weather as well. It looks like it's going to be something we'll have to track, but it's still a long way out. There is still a lot to work out in terms of the timing and the precise amounts of rainfall, but over the next five days, it looks like we are going to get some decent rain headed our way. If you live near and west of I-95, rain totals are looking more and more likely more than one to two inches.